alleged organ harvesting. More details emerge about Dono Umwamini. More details have emerged about David Umwamini Uko, donor in the alleged organ harvesting saga involving former Deputy Senate President Ike Ekermadu and his wife Beatrice, who are facing charges in the United Kingdom. Dilison took a trip to the native home of Ukos at Izida Undofa village of Ibony local government area of Ibony state and interfaced with his parents. Umwamini and Mary Upo. Though they were cautious in speaking to an outsider on the issue, especially as they could not communicate in English, a local source said the entire community was following with interest reports and discussions around Mr. Umwamini. It was gathered that the local branch of Nigeria Reformed Church, where the Upo family worship, has been praying for him, believing that he would return to return home to them one day. Pastor of the church was, however, not available when a reporter visited the area. Wamini is said to be an orphan based on his statement to the Metropolitan Police, while details about him had been sketchy since the incident broke out. But in the course of our visit, we learned that he attended community primary school Undorfia. It was also learned he attended community secondary school Undorfia before traveling to Lagos about four years ago. Four years ago, well, in Lagos, when he moved, he ventured into sale of phone accessories. There was initial controversy over Wamini's age when the news first broke out in the UK, as prosecution told the court he was 15 years of age based on his statement to the Metropolitan Police. But later, the immigration, or well, the Nigerian Immigration Service, later confirmed his age as 21, thereby contradicting claims of prosecutors in London. Con- Comptroller General of NIS, Issa Idris, while briefing journalists, said Wamini applied for his international passport, which he was issued after thorough checks by the passport issuing agency. He said the documents provided by Wamini from the National Population Commission and the National Identity Management Commission gave his date of birth as October 12, 2000. To initiate con- the initial controversy over his age, finally laid to rest was finally to rest in or by the Westminster Magistrate Court on July 7th, 2022, when it ruled that Wamini was indeed an adult, not a minor. This followed the acceptance by prosecution that was alleged that the donor was not a minor, and Wamini having confessed to the fact. And of course, okay, fine. There aren't really much... Well, there aren't really any much new details that we can say they just went to his old home and i guess that's what they found out the facts they've given we kind of already knew already um but again updates on the case i think later this month i think around mid-august yes i think that's when they're gonna go back to court and then we're gonna find evidence anyone that said there's evidence or any updates well it's we know for sure it's not gonna come from the courts in the uk well, so what is, oh wow, okay, what new facts and details have the writer uncovered? Well, we don't see it. All these attempts to launder the image of a serial destroyer of our commonwealth or water down the enormity of his crimes just won't fly. So what is this person talking about? Because when it comes to context of E.K. Kweramadu and I guess his antics or what he may be accused of i'm not fully versed on that but this obviously is a criminal case but then i guess people are saying okay fine let's not try to water down the intensity of this to be honest i wouldn't say have a an opinion on if this is true or not we don't know all the facts and we don't know what the judgment will be and the evidence that will be presented to the court but again from what i know from what has been said the cause is for their child, right? But then why would this young man who is 21 go to the police and say he's 15 when he's not? Because now he just made his case worse because they were not treated with, I guess, the severity of, you know, if they found out that he was actually a minor, then, you know, it would definitely be more serious. 
But since he's well above the age of eighteen, first of all, secondly, the only charge or whatever you can give to them, I mean, again, it's hard to give, it is hard to give a judgment, but he's going to have to give some proper evidence to show that he his consent or something must have changed that ruined the plans, whatever. Okay. Was the family of this young man involved in the deal before he traveled out? Age is not the issue here. Well, if they weren't in Lagos and they found the boy in Lagos, I mean, again, there are a lot of people who are in Lagos who don't have family in Lagos and their families are not even aware of what is happening with them in Lagos, you know? So, is a Quirborn a Quirborn not an ego man? For as long as this is this lid is open, the family of a Quirborn will suffer isolation because of attempted murder. It will take generations for them to recover. His similar friends are looking for a way to cover it. This is what our leaders are doing. But the their daughter is sick, and it's sort of, again, it's. Do you know what the story is so shady again? Because there's just been so many facts like they went to Turkey, they tried to for donors. Why couldn't they find a donor in the UK? Why couldn't they find a donor in their family? Because if you're trying to think of incompatibility with blood, why that far off? And they are black donors. If you're going to say, okay, fine, you know, in the family, blood type, whatever, um, mismatch, okay, good. But you cannot tell me that in the UK there aren't any black donors that, you know. Again, it's a very shady story. It's very... It's very dangerous and a lot will be uncovered from this. A lot will be definitely uncovered. Wow. Okay. Writer UK is not Niger. The difference is clear and wide apart. The earlier you understand it, it will make sense. How will this help the case? Hmm. Well, again, it's it's I think what we can have confidence in and the fact that it will be comfortable is the fact that it's the case is in the UK and so you know he doesn't have the connections or the connections enough to make this case go away because this is a crime. I mean this is a very, very serious very serious allegation. And if it was in the UK, I mean he's done for I mean his care I mean everything is gone, right? But fact is nothing would water down this case. There's nothing anything can anyone can do right now except their lawyers who should be able to find evidence for or against them whatever the situation is we're going to find out and we know that it will not be watered down and you know when the results come out we'll see what it is put what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe